Okay, we live. Hey, Divine Ones, how y'all doing? Come on in, come on in. Ooh, it's been a long time since I went live on Instagram, just, just on Instagram by itself. But listen, y'all. Y'all got to excuse the out because it's hot. I had to turn the thing all the way up. I said, I guess fall ain't coming this year. We ain't going to have no fall because why is it 90 degrees? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it 90 degrees, baby, in the south, in the fall? I need fall to come on because I'm I'm ready to enjoy my fall days. How y'all doing, baby? Come on in, come on in. Come on in, come on in. So listen, y'all, real quick. I would let do this on Instagram Live, and I'll upload the replay to my YouTube channel. I got some knowledge, got some information, and I got to share it with the ladies. I got to share it with the ladies. I got to share it with the queens. Queens, I need y'all front and center. I need you front and center. Come on in. Come on in. Listen to your coach. Listen to me. If you want to glow up. Listen to me now. Listen to me now. Listen to your coach. If you want to glow up, you need to start walking. You need to start walking. I want y'all to put that in the comments. Say, start walking. Start walking, start walking, start walking. Listen to me. I am, and this go for anybody. I am in my late 30s. I got three children. I done had three children. Three C-section delivery children. Okay, where my C-section mama's at? Then got cut in the same spot over and over and over again. <laughs> I am in my late 30s. I'm finna be 37. Is it 37? You know, you get to a certain age, you stop. <laughs> you ain't really that excited about your birthday like you used to be. You thanking God for another birthday, but you're not that excited about your birthday like you used to be. But 37, going to be 37, I have three children. And when I tell y'all, I got to hurry up for my phone overheat. When I tell y'all that we walking spiritually, mentally, you cannot tell me that I ain't 16. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I'm finna, I'm finna talk it. Do you hear me? Yes, I'm 36 in the natural. But since I done started walking, you can't tell me I in my mind, in my head, in my spirit, in my energy, in my mental, in my creativity, in just my everything, in every cell of my body. You can't tell me I ain't 16. I have literally shed it 20 years of my life by walking do y'all hear what i'm telling you men and women but i'm just talking to my women right here ladies if you want to glow up if you want to take your power back listen and one of the things that i love so much about walking is it don't take no money it's free you this this one of the main things that god gave us if you got activity on your legs you can move your legs you can wiggle your toes you can lift your legs up. You can get up and walk. This is something that God has given us that it's, it's one of the one things that you cannot say, Toya, I ain't got the money. I ain't got the money. You, it's no, like, if you got legs that you can move your legs, it is no excuse. Like, it ain't, Toya, I don't have the time. Toya, I'm too busy. Toya, I got xyz going on toy i got business to run toy i got clients to talk to what's more important than your health what's more important than your health if you ain't healthy you ain't gonna have no clients to talk to you ain't gonna be here to talk to no clients if you ain't healthy you ain't gonna be here to enjoy no marriage you ain't gonna be here to your health listen go ask anybody that's wealthy that have influence that's successful when you got sick, did that matter? When you couldn't move out that bed, did that matter? Did it matter how many clients you had? Did it matter how much real estate you had? Did it matter how much money you had? Did it matter how much influence you had? If you couldn't get up out that bed to go enjoy it, it ain't mean nothing. So to my ladies, I want y'all to I want y'all to really hear me with this. Lord, help me to explain this in a way that the, the way that you gave it to me. Help me to give it to your people the way you gave it to me. Please listen to me, baby. Make time and get out and start walking. What it's gonna do for you internally, 
Like, we ain't even got to talk about the outside glow up. Because let me, let's just be real with this. If you walk in every day, people going to be able to tell. Do you understand me? They going to they gonna start being able to tell you've been doing something. You've been doing something. And y'all know it, ladies. Come on now. You know it ain't nothing like when you get them compliments like, what you been doing? What you been doing? Oh, you look, you look younger. Oh, you look, you look, you, you done lost some weight. Oh, you looking good. Oh, you got a glow about you today. If you want to glow up, start walking. If you want to be a better mother, start walking. I ain't just talking about glow up physically. I ain't just talking about glow up, glow up on the outside. Okay. I'm talking about glow up everything as a whole your entire life if you want to be a better wife start walking if you want to be a better mother start walking if you want to be a better entrepreneur start walking i cannot tell y'all how many money making ideas y'all better listen to me i cannot tell you how many money making ideas that come to me when i'm on my walks god meets you on your walks y'all can look this up go look this up anybody when you, it's scientific evidence that bite this up. When you go out and you go for a walk, you go for long walks, it improves your mental. You have mental clarity. It improves your creativity. When you got a problem, when you got something you're dealing with, when you got something you can't figure out, go for a walk. Go for a walk. Because when you go walking, walking creates space. They say walking creates space between you and the problem, and it do. It do. I done been able to figure out a lot of stuff just on my walks. If I got something I can't figure out, I'm trying to, I'm stressing about, I'm, mm -mm. I'm finna go on a walk. I'm finna go on a walk. And I'm gonna throw prayer in now. I want y'all to put that in the comments. Say prayer walks. We ain't just doing walks. We doing prayer walks. Baby, go on prayer walks with Jesus. Watch how your body change. Watch how your face change. Go, Y'all go back and look at my old videos. Go back. The proof is in the pudding. The proof is in there. I ain't got to say it. You can go look it up for yourself. You got to know I know what I'm talking about. Go back and look at my old videos. Look at the, look at, now I always been beautiful. I always tell people, you, beauty come in more than one standard. But I want y'all to go back and look at my old videos. Walking, it changes your appearance. It changes your face. It changes your demeanor. It changes your spirit. It changes your body. It changes your business. When I started walking, when I started prioritizing walking and fitness, my business went to another level. My clientele went to another level. My community went to another level. My home went to another level. When I started going on these prayer walks, I seen changes in my son. My son, who's about to be 14 years old, my son struggled with a lot of things over the years when it came to his behavior. They tried to diagnose him with all kind of behavioral disorders and saying he got this and he got that. He Let's be real. He getting kicked out of places everywhere I take him. He getting kicked out. I'm I'm feeling like the parent that done failed. I can't, I can't get no control over my child. Start, I start going on them prayer walks. Whenever I was stressed out about it, whenever I was dealing with it in my mind, I said, all right, I'm finna go on, me and Jesus. Come on, Jesus, we finna walk and talk. We finna walk and talk. And I ain't come off that walk until I felt better. You got to walk till you feel better. You got to walk till the depression leave you. I guarantee you, baby, you will not be able to stay on that walk and continue to be depressed. Depression gonna leave you. Cause you know what that depression is? That depression coming from you not moving. I'm your coach and I love you and I'm finna tell you the truth. That depression is coming from you not moving. You got all kind of stress that's biked up in your muscles and you sitting there and the body was never meant to just sit there. The body was meant to get up and move. God made this body to move. Get up and move and watch and see how you able to put a lot of that stuff down that you have in the tape. Because your body, your body, God put everything in it that it need to take care of itself. If, a, if when a woman, come on ladies, if when we give birth to a baby, our breasts produce milk to feed the baby. Come on now. God, this is the way God set our bodies up. If our breasts produce milk to feed the baby, you think your body ain't got everything that you need in it? I'm going to give y'all two things, fasting and walking. 
fasting and walking. Now, will it happen overnight? No, it's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take time to glow up. It's going to take time to change your body because you didn't get to be this woman that you are overnight. It took you a long time to be this woman that you are. I've been on my health and wellness journey since 2021, and I'm still going. I'm still going. So you're not, you're not going to flip the script overnight. You're not going to flip the script in a month. You're not going to flip the script in three months. Now, will you see progress? Yes, you will see progress. Uh, millennial biz boss, congratulations. They said they down 70 pounds. That's what I'm talking about, baby. You're not going to flip your body overnight. You're not gonna, it's not going to change just like that. It's going to take some time. But the time going to pass either way. So you might as well get serious about your health. You might as well get serious about, and you ain't, and, and listen, I'm not no health and wellness guru. I'm not no fitness guru. You're not finna see me doing all that flipping and twisting and turning and, and sprinting and, and I don't do all that stuff. Cause listen, you don't have to, you don't have to do all that stuff. Literally with walking, you can transform your body by walking. Walking will get you so lean. Do you understand me? Because when you, let me tell you something, when you walk, it's two things you need to focus on when you're walking to see major transformations. You need to focus on speed and incline. Speed and incline. If you can go walk somewhere where they got a lot of hills, they got a lot of dips and twists and turns. Like if it's a park, like the park I go to, they got hills. It's a lot of hills and stuff out here, a lot of dips and twists and turns. Or you go to a trail like that, or you go to the treadmill and put the incline start with by maybe like three put the incline on three then move it up to six then move it up to nine then move it up to 12 and then work on getting your speed up to at least a 3.0 or above baby listen you're gonna be unrecognizable you're gonna be unrecognizable and ladies did we, we we can't we can't be making no excuses no more we can't be making no excuses no more when you got you got people that's giving you the formula, I'm giving you the formula, and not only am I giving you the formula, but you watching me do it. <laughs> How many times? You, listen, you, I made up my mind back in let me see, in 2019, I made, I finally made up my mind that I wasn't finna keep sitting on the sideline watching other people live their life, watching other people be successful, watching other people change their body, watching other people live their dream, watching other people become who God created them to be. I'm happy for them and I'm and I'm going to congratulate them. But how many of y'all done said, I, when my moment coming? <laughs> when I'm going to get my moment? This is how you get your moment. This is how you get your moment. You got to get up and take it. You got to get up and take it. The Bible say that the kingdom of heaven suffer violence and the violent got to take it by force. You got to take it. You can't wait on the devil to give it to you. You got to get up and take it. And I'm telling you right now, one of the practical ways that you can get up and take it Put on your walking shoe. Put your hair up. Get you some, get you some comfortable tights. <laughs> get you a that little shirt I got on, child. I was telling somebody today when I was out here walking. That little shirt I got on. This is like a seven pipe gilding t-shirts pack that I ordered from Amazon. Which, if you break down how much each one of the shirts, well, it was probably like two dollars. The shirt was like two dollars. And I ain't even have to get that. I could have used some old dingy t-shirts that I had from back in the day or something. Like you got t-shirts and stuff in your you ain't gotta go buy no workout clothes. You ain't gotta you just gotta get up and start walking. You can be a woman at the bottom of the barrel, baby. You could be in the pit right now. You could be trying to figure out how you gonna make a dollar out of 15 cents. You gonna be get up and start going on prayer walks. Watch your life glow up. Watch your life glow up. Because when you go on the prayer walk, God gonna meet you there. Holy Spirit is the guru. We got to stop looking to these folks online because they don't, they trying to figure it out too. Holy Spirit is my guru. That's who I'm going to go to. Holy Spirit is my guru. The guru tell me what I need to do. The guru tell me what I need to start. The guru give me the ideas for my master classes. The guru give me the ideas for my next book. Holy Spirit is the guru. And if you go on the prayer walk with him, listen, it don't matter what neighborhood you in. It don't matter what you, you ain't got to have no money to do this. This is a free guide to help you glow up. 
Ladies, if you want to glow up, start walking. Start walking. Start walking. And I done seen this. Even when I didn't make no changes to my diet, my body was still transforming. I was still, I was still losing weight and transforming my body even when I didn't make major changes to my diet. Even if you don't really change your diet like that, but you get out and you start walking every day, you're going to see transformation from that. Now, when you really want to take it to the next level, you put your put your body in a calorie deficit. Get in a calorie deficit. Start start fasting. Start fasting 16 hours and eat inside of an eight hour window. And then walk every day for at least 30 minutes and watch your watch your life change. Watch your life change. And I ain't just talking about your body. Your financial situation gonna change too. Because as a lady, as a woman. This is what I don't understood about the world. And I don't like it that it's like this, but it just is. When you when you start prioritizing fitness and you start prioritizing your looks and you start prioritizing your beauty as a woman, you watch the opportunities that start coming to you. Watch the opportunities that start coming to you. When you start paying attention to how you look. When you start paying attention to how your skin look, when you start paying attention to how your lashes look, when you start paying attention to how your hair look, you ain't just walking out the house with your hair looking any kind of way no more. You ain't just walking out the house with pajamas and stuff on no more. Watch how opportunities start coming to you. Come on now. And I ain't saying that that's what make or break a woman because it ain't. Because it ain't. Okay, so I'm not saying that that's what make or break you. But what I'm saying is when a person don't know you, they don't know your heart. They don't know your mind. They don't know what kind of heart you got. All they know is what they see on the outside. Even the Bible tells us that man look at the outward appearance. God like, look, I'm God. I look at the heart. I know your heart, but these people don't. People going to look at the outward appearance. So if you want to attract opportunities to you to help you level up and glow up, you got to work on that outward appearance. You got to, because it's the world that we live in. It's the world that we live in. I'm telling y'all what I know. I see how my business was, and I see how things was for me before I before I got on my fitness journey, before I started losing weight, versus how things come to me now, versus how business is for me now, versus how life is for me now. I have seen it on both sides, and I can tell y'all, Man looks at the outward appearance. People look at the outward appearance. And then once they once you done pull them in by the outward appearance, then they get to see how smart you is. Then they get to see how talented you is. Then they get to see all the stuff you got going on on the inside. So, ladies, I don't like it. I wish I could change it, but that's just the, that's the world that we live in. You you got to work on that outward appearance. Just as much as you work on the inside, you got to work on your outward appearance. If you know that you know that you can do better than what you're doing now, you got to challenge yourself. You got to make yourself get up and do it. You ain't going to want to do it, but you got to make yourself get up and do it. You got to make yourself push that plate bite. You got to make yourself fast. You got to make yourself walk. And then when you do that, watch how your youth come by. Did y'all know that when you fast, fasting increases what they what is called the growth hormone? The growth hormone that's your youthful hormone that's your hormone that makes you look younger that make so if you want to glow up if you want to look more youthful if you want to look you ain't got to go get all these different products and stuff putting stuff on the outside you got to start on the inside come on now when you fast when you push that plate away and you ain't even got to do it for 40 days and 40 nights if you just say, I'm going to still eat, but I'm going to just eat during eight hours, this eight hour window. I'm going to fast for the other 16 hours. That's enough right now. That's enough right now. You ain't even got to fast 40 days and 40 nights. You can do 16 hours a day and still eat every day, but fast every day along with that. And that's going to increase. When you fast, it increases your growth hormone, which make, which is the hormone that makes you look younger, makes you look youthful. It brings your youth back. So when you fasting and when you walking, them two right there. It don't and that don't take no money. That don't take no money. Somebody put it in the comments. Say it don't take no money. It don't take no money. God made and God showed me how He made the thing so simple. 
God showed me how I went all, you can go all over the world. You will be the went all over the world trying to change your life just to come back and realize that it was right here with me the whole time. You can go and invest in all these programs and all these weight loss products and stuff just to realize that Toya, it was with you the whole time. I've been walking since 1988. <laughs> You've been walking since you, since you were 10 months old, since you was one year old. Ain't that something? That it, it can be something that, that been with you your whole life. I've been walking since 1989. <laughs> 1988. That's how long I've been walking. So I just wanted to share that with y'all, baby. I just wanted to share that with y'all. I got to go because I'm sweaty. I'm sweaty. I'm hot. <laughs> I'm sweaty, I'm hot, my, my mouth dry, the fall ain't falling, <laughs> but I love y'all, I got to go y'all, I love y'all, I'll put the replay to this on YouTube, it, listen, everything that I said, I said it with love, I said it with love, I shared it with love, every single thing, every single thing was said and shared in love, I love you. And I want you to glow up, not just externally, but internally too. I want you to glow up. And I made up my mind. I made up my mind that I wasn't going to be the mama on the sideline no more. Mm -mm. I'm finna be the lean mama. I said, oh, baby, I'm finna be the lean mama. I'm finna be the mama on the trampoline with my children. I'm finna be the mama in the game with my children. I'm finna be the mom. My son be talking about he can outrun me. Boy. Boy, your mama been doing these 10,000 steps every day. <laughs> your mama been doing these 51,000 steps every day. You think you can outrun me? Oh, no, baby, because you can't tell me I ain't 16 in my mind, in the spirit, okay? And then I'm telling y'all, ladies, this the glow-up formula. This the glow-up formula that don't cost you no money. Fast for at least 16 hours every day and walk for at least 30 minutes every day and don't just mosey around when you walk don't just mosey around now because i did that and i ain't see no results some of y'all been walking and you said toy i've been walking and i ain't been seeing no changes my i ain't been losing no weight that's why because you walking too slow you moseying around you got to put that phone down and when i get on my walks i'm about business when i'm on my walk i'm about business i ain't walking I ain't walking just to be scrolling. I ain't walking just to be moseying around. If you walking with me, you're gonna have to keep up. Cause we 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 gonna we gonna hit at least we're gonna hit that mile in at least 16 minutes. <laughs> okay, because I'm gonna be walking at at least a speed of 4.0 when I'm walking. Because I'm intentional about what I'm doing. Like if you getting up, you you know how much you love your bed, you know how much you love being in your recliner. If you're going to get up out your recliner, make it worthwhile. Don't get up and be playing around. Don't be sticking no toe in it. You got to dive in that thing. Get to moving. And get out there and start walking like you about to miss your plane. Pretend like you at the airport and you got five minutes to hurry up and get to your gate and you walking. You walking. You you can't run, but you, you know, you're not running through the airport unless you're just really late. But you walking real fast. That's how I want you to walk. Because when you walk real fast like that and you add an incline to that, you push your body into fat burn mode. You push your body into a whole nother zone. Nine ain't just a walk as usual. Nine ain't just you scrolling through the grocery store. It ain't just you scrolling through the mall. That Those steps are good too, but they don't hold the same weight as them steps where you power walking, where you speed walking, and you walking at an incline. You got, When you be more intentional with that step, Watch how it change your body. Watch how it change your life. You know why I got this energy that I got right now? You know why I got this revelation that I got right now? You know, because I just finished a walk. And you know, another thing I love about this is it puts you in your own lane. It takes you away from the crowd. It takes you away from the noise of the world. And it, it literally puts you in your own lane. And when you come out to the world, baby, the world will know that this woman been doing something the world will know because they will feel it in your energy they will feel it in your spirit when you walk in a room it's like you will command that room when you walk anything you do 
You're not just going to blend in no more. This sets you apart from everybody else, from every other woman, because most women ain't doing this. I'm telling y'all some real stuff now. They not doing this. They, they, they killing it in business, but they not concerned about their health. They not moving their body. They not walking. So you will run circles over the other woman. You will run circles over everybody else when you prioritize your health. And it don't even take no money. I got gym memberships and stuff that I'm paying for. I ain't even. I don't even be hardly at the gym. I'm outside walking. I'm doing the free. Because I done seen how the free done changed my life. You can change your life for the free. Somebody put it in the comments. Say for the free. It's for the free, baby. It ain't no excuse. You it, at this point, God saying if you ain't doing it, it cause you just flat out don't want it. You don't, if you don't if you hear this message and you let it pass you by and you say uh huh I see I get out there later on Toya just Toya just hyped up just talking if you let it pass you by you ain't want it you ain't want it cause it's for the free and fasting um cut down on your grocery deal it gonna cut down on your grocery deal you saving money and you can go walk for free. In, in exchange for that because fasting also boosts your mental clarity walking boosts your mental clarity so you getting you getting two you getting two in one like you getting double benefits so even if you don't have a business even if you don't have a product even if you don't have a a, a idea yet on what you want to do or who you want to help when you start doing this you will and even if you a kept wife, even if you a woman that your husband pay the bills and your hu you your husband take care of this and your husband take care of that, listen, you know how much value you're going to be able to add to your household by doing this because just because that man is taking care of you and things are done for you, you still need to add value to the house. As a woman, you still add value to the house. So when you got good energy, because when you go on your walks and stuff, it give you good energy. It, 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 it boosts your mood. You get a mood booster. Now you smiling for no reason. Now you, because you done worked out all that stress you was feeling. You come back in the house. I go back in the house. I'm in the kitchen. I'm smiling, making lunches for the kids and stuff. I'm bouncing around. I'm, I'm just having me a good old time laughing at joke, making jokes and stuff with the kids. Baby, this the glow up. <laughs> this the glow up like it ain't it, it's not just materialistic stuff like you become a different woman you add value to your house now now you're fun to be around now your husband want to be around you now he can't wait to get home to you because you got good energy y'all know you love being around people that got good energy you love it when my divine ones come to my event y'all know you done been to the event come on now you don't want to leave you, you don't want to leave. You don't even want to go back home and get on the plane. You don't want to leave. Why? Because when you get around that good energy, when you get around somebody that got a pure heart, you get around somebody that got a good spirit, you like, man, I don't, I don't even want to go back in that mess. I don't even want to go back to the world. So you can, you can be that for somebody. You can be that for your children. When my children leave home, when they go stay with, with my mama, with family members and stuff, yeah, they be wanting they break and stuff, but after a while, they, they calling me like, Mom, we ready to come home. Mom, we ready to be home. We Because it, it's just something about being around me. It's just something about being around me. People want to, you know what this does? It makes people want to be around me. It makes people want to, like, I just want to, I just need to talk to you. Or I just want to be around you. Or I just want to be next to you. I just want to be close to you telling y'all some real stuff telling y'all some real stuff come on now melanie rankin say even in the classes the energy come through the computer come on now come on now